Hello, I am Luos and in this guide slash tutorial for the impact effects pack, I'm going to show you how to make a new texture for the quad spark particles. First off though, I'd like to apologize in advance if you can hear my cats or dogs or any other noise, as well as sometimes having to reconfigure my screens to get the right menus to show up. As you can see, this is one of the quad sparks and let's make a simple texture for it. I already have one prepared. I mean, you can make any one, anything you want, of course. I'm just going to show you what to do afterwards. So I have the shape here. I'm going to duplicate it two more times with Ctrl J. Then I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur. Make sure that the blur is within the image. And you can see with the selection tool that it is. I'm going to simply add a new layer to it. And I'm going to go with Filter, Render, Clouds. If you don't like the cloud the way it looks, you can press Ctrl and F to get a new one. And I'm going to multiply this. Alright, now I'm going to move one of the shapes that I duplicated all the way to the top. And just lower the opacity a little bit. Just so you can see a little bit of contrast and unique shapes. And that should be it. You can obviously do whatever you want. You can add some additional blurs, effects, whatever. But for me this works. So I'm going to merge these layers down. And there we go, and I'm gonna save it. I'll save as. Obviously, I already have a few here. I'm just gonna pick one, and it's gonna be pulled 04, and save it. All right. Now I'm gonna go to the project, and within the content browser, I'm gonna find the texture folder. And I'm gonna import it from here. I'm gonna select it. And make sure that everything is set correctly. Make sure that the compression setting is set to alpha. There. The midmap setting should be fine. The texture group should be effects. And if I'm correct, the X and Y axis should be clamped. There. That should be everything you need to set. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to quickly make a new effect. Come on, let me grab the. Or there we go. Now I've divided each of these with four, so I can easily just duplicate and share them. Uh, I have a shortcut for it, but just to show you how it works, I'm going to right mouse click, duplicate and share emitter. And I'm going to move it all the way to the right with the arrow keys. I'm going to do the same thing with the other three. And you only need to do this, of course, if you want to have the collection. At. But if you only want to do it once, then that's totally fine with me, of course. Now I need to also make sure that these required nodes are unique. And therefore I'm going to select just one, hold down control, left mouse click and drag it over the other one. Uh, that's one part. Now we need to also have a material instance of that texture of course. I'm going to go to materials and find the quad sparks. And I'm just going to duplicate one of them. And in this case it's going to be quad spark 04. Which should be fine. Open it. And find the new texture. And in this case, that's going to be called 04. There we go. Save. And we can find this material in the content browser with magnifying glass. And then just select this required and apply it. Now, keep in mind, there's something weird going on with LODs in Cascade. So you need to check all the LODs. You can simply do this by dragging this to the right. And now the first LOD kicks in. Check the required node, and as you can see, it still says Quad Spark 03. You need to right click on it and then share from higher. And you need to do this for all the LODs that you have. Initially, this package has two additional LODs, so you need to do it two more times. Share from higher, and now it's correct. Go back to the base LOD, hold down Shift, left mouse click, the mouse drag, and go over there. So now they are all shared. And there we have it. We now have the new effect. And if you slow down, you can see it. If you don't like this effect, you can always tweak the material instances or skill sprite X and Y and that kind of stuff. But in my case, I don't need to. All right. That's it for this texture effect. And take care.